if what we are reading about Eniola Badmos is true, then she is in really big trouble. But before we talk about trouble, let us examine who Eniola Badmos is and how she relates to Davido. In my previous video, I mentioned that an unknown caller actually called the nanny out, or maybe called the nanny for other reasons of which the nanny had to step out to answer the call, leaving Ifani with the chef on assumption that she will be there to look after him. You already know the story, so let me not go over it again. Now, sources has it that the unknown caller is actually a Neola Badmos. Sorry, my bad. I promised a few moments ago that I will first tell you who she is and how she relates to Davido. But first, you need to like this video and subscribe to my channel to get real life true crime stories across Africa. And Yola Badmos is a very close friend of Davido from childhood. As a matter of fact, sources has it that they attended same primary school together. Another source claims that it was Davido who gave her money for the weight loss surgery that helped her reduce her weight a great deal. Even on her birthday, Davido showered her with a lot of money. She is that close to Davido that she was the first to break the news of the death of Davido's son on Instagram and monetized it on YouTube. Okay, here is the summary. Sources has it that she called the nanny out of Davido's son's presence. Then the incident happened as a result of that absence, then she is the first to post it, just like that. Well, all this could be mere coincidence in my opinion, because she is that close to the house. But what if she actually asked the nanny to step aside? I mean, instructed her on the phone to leave the area because what she's about to say is secret. What if the chef is in on the plot? Something like, immediately I call her, just open the back door and then tell Ifai he can go and swim. Okay, hold on. I'm sure you are wondering how she got to know. Because the story said, the nanny returned and started looking for Ifai, who she supposedly left with the chef, until they found him drowned in the pool. Remember, the call must have ended. The nanny is now very occupied with taking Ifai to the hospital. The least person to call back would be Eniola Badmos. So the question still is, how did she know about it with such speed and dropped the news with such eagerness? Okay, another assumption would be that someone else called her to inform her about it. But I assume that the person would have hinted her that she caused the nanny to leave Ifai's sight and remotely caused the incident. And if that is the case, the last thing she would want to do would be to post it and even monetize it on YouTube. Eniola actually made 4 videos in less than 24 hours. The first video was about Afrobeat singer Sheon Kitty's reaction to the death, while the second focused on comedian Princess blowing hot after she was accused of ignoring the tragic incident. Eniola also posted a video of Pastor Toby Adegoyega cancelling his birthday plans and another video revealing what is believed to be the real story about Ifani's death. Even though these videos are now deleted, you may want to wonder how she got the time and the strength to make videos about a best friend's child. A child she has seen and held in her own hands. Beware of fake friends, they say. Okay, let us continue with our story or with our questions begging for answers. What did she call the nanny for? Let's assume she is the one that called. What could be so private that she had to leave everyone inside the house, step aside to answer? Why didn't she call the widow directly or simply wait? Why the nanny? Why Choma's nanny? Especially in the middle of all the Davido baby mama saga, what was the eagerness to bear bad news for? Especially the one involving a close friend as Davido. For some of us who may not be aware, Eniola Badmos is very close to Davido's first baby mama, Sophia. Could it be a coincidence or a conspiracy? By the way, there is a conspiracy theory currently being circulated that Ifani's death was a plot to take Choma out of the way as it is believed that she is the mother of the first son and as such the heir apparent to inherit all that Davido owns on earth. So the easiest way would be to eliminate the boy instead of his mother because eliminating the mother and leaving the boy would make no difference. 
in my honest opinion i think the police should leave no stone unturned to unravel this mystery this death in my opinion could have been avoided for so many reasons simple precautions uh, and this little boy would be alive today safeguards like pool alarm and pool cover would have saved the life of this child many celebrities and the rich have swimming pools but these pools are dead traps in waiting because most of them don't have safeguards in place because it tends to impact on the overall beauty of the pool while we wait for more updates on this let us keep our fingers crossed hoping and praying that this is all mere rumor thank you so much for watching this video do have a wonderful day